In 2017, more than 200 million barrels of beer were sold in the United States. It is the most popular alcoholic drink in America and has been so for some time. And today, 19% of beer sales in the U.S. are from smaller, local breweries. 9% more than only 10 years ago. This means there are more choices for beer lovers than ever before. When you find the right brew for you, it's easy to ask for another beer, please. Hey everybody, I'm Lawrence. And I'm Sarah. And this is Another, Another beer, beer, Please. Oh, it's April. It's it beautiful. It's springtime and it's a wonderful season, so it's a good time to talk about seasonable beers. And April is, of course, Idaho Craft Beer Month, so it seems only right that we talk about one of our favorite beers that this Mybach. is, oh, mm -hmm. Maybach from Sockeye Brewing Company right here in Idaho. And April's the last month we get to get this Maybach. This Unfortunately, delicious beer. this really needs to be a permanent beer because it is such a great uh, traditional German style lager. Uh, not lager. Bach beer. Bach beer. That's and it. it's phenomenal. Yeah. I just said phenomenal. It's so good. <laughs> it's so good you can't even talk about it. <laughs> now, Sockeye Brewing Company has been in business for more than 20 years. They have two locations for dining and drinking, one over on Cole Road and one over on Fairview, yep. and a very sizable brewery. We're looking forward to visiting there. Um, they do it right. They have a phenomenal, very popular Dagger Falls IPA. Mm -hmm. They have a great powerhouse porter. They have lovely, lovely beers. And their seasonal beer, the Maybach, like I said, this German-style Bach beer mm -hmm. is phenomenal. Yep. Go ahead and pour. All right. So when we moved back to Boise, um, and I had been gone for a while, so I wasn't aware of or familiar with Sockeye, and so Sarah took me there, and I was blown away. Their, part, their porter was one of the first ones I tried, but this Maybach, oh my goodness. Well, so the good. first time we tried it, um, same with the, uh, not the Evans Gate, what was the last one we reviewed? It was... Snowboarder, Snowboarder. No, oh. no, no. The uh, Snowboarder Porter. Uh, once we tried this one, uh, we we just kept drinking it until they ran out of season. Yeah, and because then we were so very good. angry. We were. Oh, and then <laughs> yeah, and then one time we went up uh, to McCall in the fall time, and the gas station still had this. So we took like three packs. It Stocked was, up. It was so funny. <laughs> we made a huge scene in that gas station. I swear they thought we were crazy. Yeah. Now, it's really nice and easy to drink. The IBUs are only around 15, if I remember correctly. Uh, 17. 17, so very low, very easy to drink. Really a malty beer. Most Bach mm. beers are going to have those roasted malts. They're going to have a lot of malt forwardness. And so the challenge is to find a Bach beer that still gives you just a little bit of a bite of the hop mm -hmm. to give it a balance. Yeah. It's a beautiful beer. Look at that gorgeous. Gorgeous, like amber oh. color. Oh, yes. it's so good. Mm -hmm. Now this one is a little more carbonated than the ones that were that we reviewed in the past, so you mm -hmm. will get a little full drinking a few of these. Um, well, that's why I like to pour mine mm -hmm. with a really large head oh, right. to release that carbonation. Uh, what's the ABV on this one? It's around six percent. Okay. Yeah, so it's a little higher than six percent. I was just looking them up, and I totally forgot to memorize that. But it's got a little bit of a kick to it, and I yeah. think any Bach beer should. German beers, now Germans have been brewing beer forever, and they do it so well. Uh, I'm a huge fan of German beers. Not the German beers I grew up with. When I was a kid, Heineken was the German beer, and it, I'm sorry, I'm gonna lose a sponsor right here and there. I don't like Heineken beer. And it's not because of the flavor, it's because of the commercials. Mm. The commercials are terrible. Back in the end, there's these guys, hi there, yes, yes, I just made my next million dollars. I'm drinking a Heineken. <clears throat> my German beer back then was uh, Lohenbrau. Because Lohenbrau commercials were always, tonight is kind of special. <laughs> there's always two guys hanging out in a fishing boat. So it always made me kind of wonder, how special was that night going to be? Wandered off topic a little bit there. No, that's fine. <laughs> but Sockeye's been doing this for over 20 years, and I think with the Maybach, it's one of the best beers they brew. Definitely. It's, like I said, I wish this wasn't seasonal because it's so good. And uh, last year when we were kind of talking to the bartender, they said that this uh, beer was so popular that the owners, if I'm 
if I'm wrong, correct me, but last time we talked to the bartenders, the owners were thinking about actually making it a permanent beer because it was just so popular. And once it went out of season, people were so sad. Where's my like, book? Just like me. Yeah, I was the same way. I, I mean, I love seasonal beers because it gives you something to look forward to and you get to try new things. And often the brewers will, you know, adjust recipes, not with the Maybach. This one, I love it and I hate the fact that it's seasonal because I hate having to wait a year to have it yeah. back in my refrigerator. And it's only seasonal from February to the end of April, so it's not a huge window. No. It's kind of like eggnog. Yeah. <laughs> get out there and get your Maybach quick if you want to yeah. get your Maybach on. And it's got several delicious malts, a, um, a crystal chocolate malt in there, or um, I think it was a crystal chocolate malt. But you're right. you can really taste the malt forward, the the roastedness, the there's no chocolate notes to it to me when I'm drinking. It's no. just a nice balanced level of malty sweetness. And then the hops they use are really nice, not mm -hmm. overwhelming. Remember I talked about how with the uh, the other beer, the Syntax, yeah. those hops, the, they came a little too forward. And so it kind of ruined the maltiness of the beer for me. This doesn't. This is a really nicely balanced mm -hmm. German box style beer. So this is the kind of beer you drink when it's like 120 degrees, when it's like 30 below. This is the kind of beer you drink any season, any day, any mm -hmm. time of the day, <laughs> like 5 o'clock somewhere. Yeah, it's 8 a.m. here. No, I'm just kidding. It's um, got to be at least 10. <laughs> I remember using this beer as a couple of uh, hair of the dogs. Well, it's really easy it's really to drink, good. and what I love about the Maybach, because you've seen us, I mean, so far we haven't talked about anything light at all mm. in color. We've just been talking about our favorite darker beers, porters, ambers, mm -hmm. um, stouts, but this, it's so easy to drink, and it's phenomenal right out of the fridge, cold. Yeah. Still very flavorful, still really nice on the palate. Mm -hmm. Even when it warms up, it's still perfect. It's, oh, it's really, a, really good. It's like a you wonderful said, it's beer. Really well balanced. Mm. Oh, you just get to sit there and watch us enjoy a good beer. You know, I was just thinking we're kind of like um, that TV show, uh, Top Gear. Oh, we, yeah. we get to do what we love and uh, show off to you while we do it, mm -hmm. while accomplishing really nothing whatsoever. Yeah. yeah, we're just not going 120 miles an hour. I know, that's probably a good thing since we're reviewing beers. <laughs> probably. <laughs> That'd be, and there we are, here you go. So, you've only got until the end of April, so you can find Sockeyes, of course, in grocery stores all around town, all, all around the state. You can, mm -hmm. of course, the best place to do it is at the at brewery the itself. Their right. food is amazing. I can put down a few of these my box with their salmon fingers, and it is phenomenal. You need to try their food too. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, hands off to Sockeye because they really do it right. Their their IPAs are one we're going to review down the road, and I'm not an IPA guy, but I've actually enjoyed their Dagger Falls, and then their Double Dagger. I mean, it just destroys your taste buds. It's an amazing IPA. But we're going to bring a friend along for IPA, IPA reviews because we're not real IPA people, and we. Think you deserve to hear from someone who is. Mm -hmm. Well, I think it's a great day yeah. in spring to enjoy a fine seasonal ale during this fine spring season. So, sure. Yeah, yeah that's how you can tell this is not scripted. What I'm going to say is <clears throat> that wasn't what I was going to say. <laughs> get out there and enjoy your seasonal ales while you get a chance. Mm -hmm. Remember, this is Idaho Craft Beer Month. The entire month of April. So what you should be doing, even if you're not in Idaho, is to get out and enjoy your seasonal ales. Mm -hmm. Grab them while you get the chance. Yeah. And then store some when they go out of season. Right. Because if you don't, you will not be able to ask for <laughs> another, another beer, please. please. <laughs> yes. I want another one. But we drank them all. Well, we could go to the brewery. I think we're going to have to. We could do that. Yeah. I'm not working today. I love this behind the scenes banter. Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy spring!